Daniel Aaron Stewart, everybody. This is blog number one, and it is basically just to welcome you to the blog. So welcome. I'm done. Have a good day. Just kidding. Um, so what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about all kinds of different things. So uh, many of you know me from the Renaissance Festival. Um, this would have been year 10. So um, I mean, that's still cool, right? But uh, so with COVID, of course, the Renaissance Fair wasn't happening. Uh, I am still doing metal work. I'm working on a 20-foot dragon, so I think I'll be posting some information on that as I create that amazingly crazy piece of sculpture. Um, I also have an axe throwing business. For those of you who don't know, acceleration. It's like uh, it's like exhilarating, but accelerating. Ha ha. Uh, we come to you, so we do parties and corporate events and things like that. So of course, that's been really slow, also with COVID, but. Um, we are still doing some events, um, so that's been uh, that's been pretty cool. I might post some things about that. And I'm working on an absinthe with uh, Dragon Distillery from Frederick, so uh, we'll we'll see if that happens. But uh, <laughs> that'll be fun, especially the taste test. Uh, and I'm also writing. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I wrote a book called uh, The Poetic Esoterica of Daniel Aaron Stewart in 2018. So that was a poetry book. And, you know, if you're into poetry, especially lyrical poetry, uh, that is what the book is for the most part. Um, you know, there's a cadence to it. You have to be in the right mindset uh, and, and sort of read it. It might take a couple read throughs to sort of get the pattern. Um, but, you know, if you're in the right mind, then it, uh, you know, the poetry there is really meant to take you kind of deeply behind the screen of sort of this this facade that we we walk through. Um and, you know, sort of looking behind the curtain idea. Um, so that's available on Amazon or you can go to my website. Uh, I got another website now, which maybe you found me through there, but it's DanielAaronStewart.com uh, in addition to the other websites. So I just, I had so many things going on. I just figured I needed one website where I could point people to different places. So um, adding to that, uh, like I said, being an author now, which is uh, a job in and of itself, Writing is the easy part. Surprise, surprise. It's the uh, the marketing and trying to trying to get the word out there and be heard through this morass of just uh, there's just so much stuff going on, right? And I'm just you know here I am, but um, that is that is the job. Uh, awesome book. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm, uh, what's the word? Why can't I think of the word I'm thinking of? Why can't I think of the word I'm thinking of? I'm 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 partial. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, this is actually a story. It's not a poetry book. All right, the complex quest of Riley Red, um, and um, you can think of like the Little Prince ish, right? It's a it's a book that talks about deep concepts, but it is written in a childlike manner. Um, so, you know, it kind of has like a, I don't know, like a Neil Gaiman Coraline feel. Not that I'm writing like Neil Gaiman. Uh, I love you, Neil, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> that is not his style, but it is told from the viewpoint of a child. And there is like this dark element to it, um, like this creepy element to it um, that just makes it fun. And it makes these sort of heavy hitting concepts that I'm trying to approach um, yeah, it's more interesting, more fun. So, you know, if you look through the book, you know, every page there is artwork and a visual. And there's things like this where it is a uh, sort of a visual interpretation of something that is a little more abstract. All right, so you can see, you can see those two guys there running on an infinity symbol. One's chasing money, the other's chasing, you could say, knowledge, right? Who are these two guys? You'll have to read the book to find out. All right. Scary elements. That was a really cool scene in the book. Um, coming out of a picture frame. I don't want to give away what's happening there. But um, anyway, lots of fun illustrations here. And it's like me, doesn't it? Hey. So uh, Christopher Whitehead is the illustrator actually my ex-wife's husband and super good friend we're actually all good friends we we didn't write the uh, the common narrative where we are at war with one another instead we have a beautiful family what do you call that now a um a blended family i guess they call it 
Uh, so, you know, I used some of the concepts that are actually in that book because you got to push through anger and fear when you're dealing with divorce and that sort of thing, right? So uh, it was actually some of the principles that I use in the book. Uh, I actually use that to have this great relationship. And out of that relationship, Christopher and I made this book. So um, really cool. Uh, the book talks about things such as, you know, how do you deal with people who uh, are coming at you with different viewpoints, right? Especially this day and age where, um, you know, social media, someone is always claiming expertise in something and telling you the way it is and how do you know? And, and you know, a lot of these, um, I mean, we're inundated all the time with, um, you know, like, hey, it's option one or option two. Which one do you choose? And uh, who said there's only two options? And who made you king of all the options anyway? Right? <laughs> How do you navigate this landscape? So um, that's in the book. Um, how to work through fear and push through fear to find the, the light on the other side. Right. And, uh, and then also, I think one of the big... Uh, topics of the book is what, what's the purpose of the storms that we have in our lives, right? Like, so those things that you don't see coming, or even if you do see them coming, they're so huge that you can't stop them and they just demolish you down to your foundations and leave you standing there, you know, uh, where your safe little house used to be and now it's in ruins and, you know, these things can be death or sickness or disease or divorce or, uh, you know, lo losing a job, money, you, know, you name it. It's, it's the heavy hitting things that just change what you think about the future and make you question everything about the past. So, you know, why do these things ha happen and what's the point? And uh, the book does talk about that. So anyway, I will ramble no more. We're at the seven minute mark right here. So we will see what this blog becomes. And uh, hopefully I will get some feedback and you guys let me know what you think, what you want to hear. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on whatever it is we're discussing, because um, that helps me to know where to go. And if I don't get that, then I will just ramble and you'll just have to sit there and take it. And you know, that's just the way it goes. Or not watch, whatever. <laughs> Thank you guys for, uh, for joining in the blog, and uh, stay tuned. We'll see what we see. Appreciate it.